What a beautiful day today. Anyways, my thoughts on the Jake Paul, Logan Paul, and Thrilla boxing events that we've been seeing recently. This is not a hate video, just an observation of the direction that boxing seems to be falling into. Now, I can't lie, the pre-fight buildup to these fights are very entertaining and well done by the Paul brothers and their team. However, the actual fight seemed to be a major letdown. Historically, boxing has produced some extremely talented and skilled athletes. Just look at how coordinated Pernell Whitaker was. However, with the Paul brothers, I think that the actual fight is just an afterthought. They are not designed to be competitive pick'em fights. The blueprint they seem to be using is to create as much pre-fight attention as possible, have a complete mismatch of a fight, then immediately after the fight, begin with the next pre-fight mismatch promotion. Jake Paul fought Ben Askren, who arguably was the worst boxer in the UFC. He also only has one hip. Well, he had a hip replacement, so I guess he actually has two hips. But Jake basically fought a handicapped man. Further, Askren was a much smaller man and competed at 170 pounds while in the UFC. Tyron Woodley has pretty much the same storyline. He lost his last four fights with the UFC, was cut by the promotion, and he also fought at 170 pounds. And as Dana White explained, he was involved in a fight with not pleased with Tyron Woodley's performance? <laughs> they broke the record for the least punches ever thrown in a title fight. Uh, there's not much to be pleased with or to talk about. I mean, what what really is there to talk about in that fight? What did you think about watching the Woodley fight? Listen, when you break a record for the, less punch, the least punches ever thrown in a five-round fight, in a title fight, and you beat it by, it was like 130, and these guys threw 60 or something like that, I mean, I think that sums it up. Even with all of this being said, there is still no shortage of people eager to box Jake Paul. The public seems far more interested in wanting, in watching him fight than any other current boxer. I think we all want to see Tyson Fury and Anthony Joshua fight. And before the detached retina and car crash, we all wanted to see Bud Crawford and Errol Spence fight. But now there seems to be a lack of promotion for classical, back, classical boxing matchups. I guess we can hope for a good third fight between Fury and Wilder. So although the Paul brothers are doing a great job of promoting their fights... I do wish the MMA media would do a better job of pressing these guys on some important issues. Not only is there a huge size difference between the Paul brothers and their competition, but there also seems to be a lot of discussion about whether or not they are on PEDs or anyways, if Jake is using PEDs. Those, those little bumps you had on your face kind of alarm me. You wouldn't be having to take PEDs, are you? Listen, if you want to build in excuses right now, no, I'm just go asking. ahead. Because I was just wondering. I looked ahead. at your face. It looked kind of silly. You had some rage and you're acting all unorthodox. You know, those are signs of the PEDs. I'm, I'm enraged. I'm not enraged at all. Are you taking PEDs? No, sir. Not at all? Okay. No, sir. In Ariel Hawani's most recent interview, he completely dropped the ball. Although he did ask Jake if he was if there was drug testing, he never really pressed the issue about the acne or the changes in his 
or the changes in the shape of his head or his body. Um, can you clear up the drug testing thing for us? Tyrant said he wasn't sure what was going on on fight night. Did you get drug tested? What happened? Yeah, yeah, no, I got drug tested. Uh, I peed in the cup, did the whole nine yards. I mean, the usual. Uh, again, he's like coming up with any excuse for losing. Honestly, it's pretty embarrassing. The Paul brothers are boxing much smaller over the hill fighters. And if they are, in fact, using PEDs, there could be major risks for their competition. So I do wish there was more of a discussion or the media would press them more when they had the chance to interview these guys. In any event, I am just wondering if all of the boxers will follow, be following suit and promote this type, these type of events or if we will ever get back to more of the traditional boxing matches. Anyways, let me know your thoughts. Thanks, and talk to you later.